You want to use shaders with Minecraft Forge, and to get started, you're going to need to download a shader pack. This is basically what actually activates the shaders in Minecraft. Think of them like texture packs, but for shaders and lighting. In the description, we have a link to our list of some of the best ones. We're going to go ahead and grab Makeup Ultra Fast here because it's very well known to have pretty good mod compatibility. There's also complementary shaders on this list, which is known for really good mod compatibility. If you're playing with mods, those are probably your best two there. Then we go ahead and go to files here. We want to find the most recent version for this shaders pack, which is going to be right here. Click the three dots and click download file. You may also be downloading from Modrinth, 100% trusted to download from there as well. Make sure you keep or save any files you downloaded. Next, we're going to need Optifine. This is what's actually going to add the shaders to Minecraft. It's the shader mod, if you will. And in the description, you can come here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the most recent version, but if it's an older version, you just come here and click on mirror next to that version. Now, one last thing I want to mention here is this on the right hand side, the Forge version. 58.1.0 for us, but whatever it says here is what you're going to need later, so I'd recommend going ahead and making a note of that. Now this we can click Mirror here, click Download, and Optifine will begin downloading. And last but not least, we need to get Forge. If you get a prompt like this, go ahead and block you don't need to do that. Optifine has already started downloading. Next, we can go ahead and grab Forge, as I said, click download here, and we again want to get this most recent version, but we want to make sure it's this 58.1.0 version. Now, that is currently the latest and recommended version, but just in case it's not, you can always click show all, come down here and click on installer under this, but we'll go ahead and click on it here, and it will take us to add focus. We don't want to click anything, just wait about 10 seconds, and after about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right, which we want to go ahead and click. After that, we can go ahead and say Forge, and while this is downloading, I have a quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server, and truly customize things any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so don't struggle to host a server. Start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and then we want to find the files. Now, they're going to be in your downloads folder and to get started we need to install forge go ahead and double click on this file and the forge installer should open if it doesn't you need to go ahead and get java and run the jar fix from the description everything is covered in these but basically just download java and run the jar fix then we can go ahead and click install client here click ok and forge will now install it's that easy to get it up and running. And that's honestly the hardest part of getting this installed. From here, it's actually relatively simple. So once Forge installs, click OK. And I would recommend moving Optifine and Makeup Ultra Fast to your desktop, just because it's gonna be easier to install them once we do that. And then we wanna open up the Minecraft Launcher. Do not play Minecraft, just open up the Launcher. In the Minecraft Launcher, click Installations at the top and find your Forge installation. Just hover over it and click the folder icon. In here, there should be a mods folder, but if not, just go ahead and make a brand new folder titled mods, all lowercase. Open that up and drag and drop Optifine into it. This is where you're normally installing your Minecraft Forge mods, so you'll just add Optifine right next to those mods, and guess what? It's now going to work. But we need to play Minecraft to confirm that, and we'll also need to install Makeup Ultra Fast in order to actually get shaders working once we're in game. So once Minecraft's open, all you've got to do is click on Options, video settings, and here are all of Optifine settings, and then shaders. Now you can drag and drop your shader pack over and into your shaders menu. I've already got a few of these already installed, so they're already here, but you can add any ones that you want. Then just go ahead and click on it, click done, and now shaders is active. We can jump in game and I can show you that these are in fact working and we are good to go. It's that easy to get shaders with Forge mods. You just basically have to install Optifine and then drag and drop your shader pack in. We can see here they are active. We've got the shadows and then we've also, of course, got the flowing grass or flowing crops here. Another indication of shaders. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. But you now know how to get shaders with Forge in Minecraft and we will see you in the next one. Peace.